is the one thing that most people really hope for in their life. They want to manifest their desires and get what they know they deserve. It's not that they really don't want these things. They just don't know how to get it off the ground. And that is where I come in. Today, we're going to talk about manifesting your desires. And I am Tammy C. Walker. I am a life coach and a therapist. This channel is created to inspire others. I always hope and I pray that things I've gone through will help you. And also things that I'm learning as I'm on my journey and things that I'm expounding upon. I'm here to share it with you, hoping to inspire you, help change your life, motivate you, and spread a little light and love in this world. Lord knows we need it at a time like this. And this is why it's so important to keep pumping these type of contents and videos out. Okay, so when you think of the word manifest, what comes to mind? The definition I came up with is to display or show acts or to have something appear, to demonstrate. Long story short, it means to make things happen. That's my little definition of it. Manifest, to bring things to life. So I'm going to give you some tips to help you with manifesting changing your life but i do want to warn you it's not a one time deal these are going to have to be repeated actions over and over and over and that is how you can manifest what you desire you have to do the work to see results tip number one remove the negative self-talk and replace it with positive words um you have to think of things like, I am fearless. You have to think of someone trying to attack your child or attack your mother or your father, or your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You know you're not going to let them do that. But that's how you have to be with your desire. You have to be, you have to be hungry for it. You have to be vicious to chase after what you want. Don't be flippant with it or act as if you don't care because what you put out, that's what you're going to get back. If you chase it with your whole heart, as they say, throw it all over the bar. Most people go through life, they do it half-heartedly. They don't give it their all. You know, they sometimes are not dialed into a relationship. They're at a job they despise. They are not giving life their all. If you give life your all when it comes to your health, when you're in your relationships, if you stay present, never perfect. We're not perfect, but you can do better. If you give it all to your job, even if you don't like the job, still go there and do an excellent job. This will transfer from transfer over to your own company when you start your own business or it would transfer over to your dream position. So that's it. Whatever you're doing now, give it your all. Sometimes people think they have a job they hate. They do a sloppy job with it. They don't care. That's not the key. The key is to do that job with excellence and you're going to bring forth excellence in other areas. Give it a try. So um, confidence is the father of achievement. When you believe in being, when you're confident, when you feel like um, you have the power to be whatever you want to be, that's half the battle. It's, it starts with the thoughts. 80,000 thoughts per day. 60 to 80,000 thoughts. And imagine if they're vroom, going through your mind. Vroom, I'm, I'm fat. Vroom, I don't have enough money to start my business. Vroom, I'm never going to make it. Vroom. I'm never going to get married anyway. I don't even know why I'm on this day. Vroom. I mean, just negative thoughts. And people do this. You're not thinking about what you're thinking about. But these thoughts are just zooming by 60,000 times a day. And imagine if a lot of them are negative. That's powerful. Powerful in a bad way. So let's reverse it. I'm beautiful. I'm wonderfully made. I deserve the best. I expect the best. Look, tomorrow is June 1st, new month, new miracles. If it's going to be, it's up to me. All is well, all is well, all is well. Just saying all is well can create such a magnificent dynamic in your life because 
the saying, all is well, is saying, all is well. But what are you talking about, Tammy? I have these bills to pay that I can't even afford to pay. All is well. Why is all well? Because you're going to figure it out. All is well. What do you mean? Me and my girlfriend, we broke up six months ago. She won't, she won't even talk to me. All is well because you are going to be bettering yourself and you're not going to worry about her per se not talking to you because you're going to be so busy being your best self that eventually she's probably going to come back. Eventually you're going to meet somebody else. Eventually you won't even care, but everything's cool anyway. Or all is well, all is well, because all is well. Many of the things we worry about don't even happen. 90 some percent, it doesn't even happen. You are smart because you are resourceful like me. And you can wiggle yourself out of many situations. So no matter how bad it is, if you get another day tomorrow, you can solve that problem. One tactic I used to do is sleep on a problem. If I had a real big problem, I'm just wrestling with it. I would just go to sleep. Just sleep on it. And sometimes I would wake up the next day, the answer would be illuminated. So don't try to solve everything right away. All is well. It's going to get solved. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, you have to become convicted to succeed. You have to have that conviction. You got to know with every fiber of your being that you will be successful. You will not take no for an answer. If you get 20 no's, you only need one yes. Don't let someone deter you. You know, it's almost like uh, sometimes when I used to be looking for jobs, I would apply for like 15 jobs, 20 jobs. I would get like seven rejections. And, and you know, after you keep getting these rejections, thank you for your inquiry. We decided to go, go with another candidate who lines up more closely to this position. You keep reading those emails. You're like, oh my God, it really starts messing with your psyche. Like, man, am I going to get a job? It could kind of, you know, who likes to get rejected? It messes with you. But keep going. Don't settle for no. All you need is one yes. You can get 40 no's, but if you get one person that says, hey, I like your resume, let's do a Zoom interview. Maybe, you know, eventually, very soon, we'll be in person interviewing. Boom, you in there. So you can't worry about the no's. What you're looking for is a yes. But you got to be convicted to manifest that job or whatever it is you need. Write it down over and over. June 1st, 2020. I will travel to Los Angeles. I will travel to Vegas. I will travel to Nashville. I don't care how smart your dream is. Write it down. I will pay off my credit card of $3,000 by December 31st, 2020. Write it down over and over. I will manifest uh, several streams of income. I will manifest... You don't say, you don't say I will manifest. I, I am. You can say I am in a loving relationship. I am healthy. Write it down over and over and write down what you need and what you desire and what you want and watch. I want you, after you write this stuff down each day, you know, set the intentions each day, watch things start popping up. I, I guarantee you, I've been doing this for years. It works, it works, it works. Write it down. Get you a cheap notebook, $1, $2, and excuse me, I want to call so bad. <clears throat> I'm so sorry you are <clears throat> and write it down and watch it come to fruition please excuse me it is midnight and I'm trying to do this video and well that's just how it goes right visualize 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 as you go through your day set times that you can visualize I love visualizing when I'm taking a shower you can do a mind movie and you can do it like this you can close your eyes and say, whatever your mind movie is. I have a, a mind movie. It's showing me zoom, past my LSW. It's showing me an inner relationship. It's showing me um, with my own practice. It's showing me traveling. It's showing pay to the order of Tammy C. Walker. And this is what I run through my mind. I do a mind movie a lot of times in the shower. Therefore... You know, I know I'm going to do it because I'm taking a shower every day. So, you know, it's like I just hit it. I do like, you could do a clap, like my movie, activate. I know it sounds corny, but it works. 
clap and you start your movie and keep doing it every day. And you could do it, you know, after you meditate in the morning. If you meditate, you could do it when you come to the washroom. That's another good way. You know you're going to use the washroom several times a day. You're in the washroom. Hit it. Do your mind movie. These are what you desire. This is what you desire going through your mind. And it's going to saturate your consciousness. And this is how you begin to make things happen. Because... You are already living what you desire. You just have to bring it to pass. But if you keep on seeing it, you will believe it. And what's going to happen next? You will receive it. Let's see. Last but not least, I love this one. Wouldn't it be nice if I won a trip to Hawaii? Start saying that. Wouldn't it be nice if someone gave me... $300 today. Wouldn't it be nice if I got five new sales today? Wouldn't it be nice if the man of my dreams gave me a call today? Because you already might know who he is. Wouldn't it be nice if I was offered a job making $25,000 more? Wouldn't it be nice if someone actually gave me the money to start up my business that I've been writing my business plan for? Wouldn't it be nice if I dropped 10 pounds you know, whatever your thing is, wouldn't it be nice? Stuff is going to start coming to light again, manifesting, manifesting, manifesting. I can give you so many tips. There's so many tips to manifesting. But some of the main things that you need to do is to stay in the right frame of mind. Any negativity, any doubt, it starts to repel and push away what you desire. Being positive, being confident, these are going to line up your manifestations. You want to write it down. You want to visualize. These are all powerful tools. Do the work. You can do the work. You will see the results. And I'm telling you what I've done. I'm telling you what's happening in my life. I'm telling you what I have learned and lived. You all know me, Tammy C. Walker. Before I go, I solicit your comments. I love to read comments. What do you do to manifest your desire? How did you grow your YouTube channel? What are some other things you have done? What are some of your techniques? I would just love to hear back from you. I value all of my viewers and I value your input. You all take care. We have a new month coming. New month, new miracles. Get excited. It's summertime. We are in an upheaval in this world. Things are topsy-turvy. So for those of you that believe, say prayer, send good energy out into the universe and the world. And when bad happens, good comes from it some way, somehow. Those of us that have good energy, love, and light, we have to direct it to the world because there are way more good people, way more. I don't care what you see, what you hear, than bad. People out there doing things that don't line up with what they should be doing, they are putting bad energy out there. And that's not us. We know what to do. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.